Hello, I often get messages from my YouTube subscribers about differences between royalty-free music and no copyright music. They also would like to know how to avoid copyright claims. People don't understand why they buy music on some sites for their projects, spend a lot of money on it, but still lose their monetization and get copyright claims. I've been selling my music online for the 7 years on different music platforms and I know the reason why it's happening and I'll try to explain it to you. First of all, royalty-free music sites do not prioritize your monetization. I can't speak for all the sites, but I can share with you my experience of how process of corporate removal works on large royalty-free music venues. Let's say you make a YouTube video and you need background music for it. You found a popular royalty-free music site and found a music that fits your needs. You pass the video to YouTube and automatically lose monetization. You get a copyright claim. Then you can dispute this claim on your YouTube account. The waiting period is about 30 days, but it may be less. But the problem is that there is no guarantee that YouTube will return your monetization even if you attach the license file. You can also send a message to the support service where you bought this track. Most likely they will redirect you to the author of this track so that he adds you to the whitelist of the content ID system he uses. The author may either not answer you or add to the whitelist, but why? The answer is that music creators get much more money from content ID systems than from selling music itself. It is more profitable to them to take your monetization from you than to return to you. The main problems of royalty-free music sites. They allow authors to use and control content ID system on their own. What is content ID system? It's a music edificational system that allows track owners to control the use of their works in YouTube videos as well as receiving monetization from these videos. These sites leave you one-to-one -one with author of this track or with the YouTube support. You can only hope for the decency of the author or for attentiveness of YouTube support service. Restoring monetization and copyright removal can take months. You need to send lots of messages to convey a problem to someone who can help you. These sites are too large. The support team is slow because they get hundreds or maybe thousands of messages per day. And why no copyright music sites are the future? Because the sites control 100% of its content. You can directly contact the support team and they will help you get back your monetization if there was an error or if it was the case of the fraud. And how do no copyright music sites deal with it? There are two types of no copyright music sites. First one, the site invites musicians to upload music to their library, while the site gets the rights to upload this music of these authors to their own content ID system, but doesn't own the copyright of these works. Thanks to this, no copyright music sites control the monetization of their customers and have the ability to quickly add their videos to white lists of their content ID system. There is no need to wait for the author of this track or for YouTube support team to answer you. But you are also not insured against problems with claims. Since the author of the music can add it elsewhere or sell the rights on them in the future, scammers can also steal a track from music authors and upload it to content ID systems. And what happens in this case? You will get a claim from the froster immediately, and you will have to write a message to the musician to block the scammer. But these sites work well and are more reliable. And the second type of no corporate music sites. It's the system that we use on our platform with my friend Infraction. We fill the library only with the music that we own 100% ourselves and we don't add this music to content ID systems. Due to the fact that we own all the copyrights, we can block scammers and return monetization on our own. We always respond as quick as possible to errors or to the cases of fraud. The great advantage is that our music is hard to steal. We have developed our own protection system for our music. Thousands upon thousands of our YouTube channel subscribers always inform us concerning theft of our tracks. Moreover, we constantly monitor copyright for our tracks ourselves. 
we have developed a strategy for quickly blocking thrusters that hasn't failed in years. I'd like to say that in 2021, no copyright music sites are more safe than the classic old ones royalty-free music sites. You are never immune to YouTube content ID errors or fraud. Unfortunately, this is reality. But sites with no copyright music solves these problems much faster as well as more efficiently. For such sites, your monetization is number one priority as they put your safety first. Thank you for your attention. Ask any question that you would like to ask. And welcome to our YouTube channels and welcome to our platform in audio.org.